sometimes there are two ideas, two thoughts, two concepts that appear to be contradictory. They might even actually be contradictory, and yet sometimes they're both true. So the first one is cultural appropriation, which in the musical world is a thing that does get discussed. Can people from one cultural background take sounds, instruments, ideas, concepts from another background and incorporate it into their music? Most musical styles, in fact, were born from exactly that. However, there are good arguments for it not being a universal right to do so, particularly if a musician is passing off something from a different culture as being from theirs, or pretending that something is historically accurate and representative when in fact it isn't. So there's one thought. The second thing is the concept of the pale blue dot. The pale blue dot is the name of a very famous photograph taken by the Voyager 1 spacecraft on the 14th of February 1990. At that point it was 6 billion kilometres, 3.7 million miles from Earth. From that distance the Earth appears as a pale blue dot less than a pixel in size. And I'm going to read to you something that Carl Sagan said in his book, The Pale Blue Dot. Consider again that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you have ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. The aggregates of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on a mote of dust suspended in a sunbeam. And he says more. So from that perspective, the differences that we have across regions and borders and nations and religions are utterly trivial and insignificant. Now, if I put that thought with the discussions that go on about cultural appropriation in the context of the size of the universe, there is no cultural appropriation. We are one species among millions on one microscopically small planet in an infinite universe. So that culture is my culture. So while I totally believe that we should respect the cultures we have on Earth and respect the traditions, I don't believe we should be very hung up about using instruments or sounds or whatever from a different culture. As long as it's done respectfully, as long as we're not pretending something is something that it isn't, as long as we're not rewriting history to explain why we're doing a particular thing. We all live on one pale blue dot in an infinite universe.